Hear you. Who is this? Where are you? How did you get my number? Can you help me? What the fuck is going on in this town? I need to speak to you, Simon. I'm not the I'm just sorry. You're what? You're up on the roof? I can't hear what you're saying. Hello? Hello? Are you still there?
He always goes back to the same place day after day, just watching it like it was yesterday. Despite the fact that it causes him tremendous anxiety, he insists on returning. He insists it's for therapeutic reasons, but I remain skeptical. He doesn't respond well to questions about his personal life. He became extremely angry when I mentioned he'd been surprised by what he insists on describing as a black day. His school and home life were no real topics when discussing these feelings and anxieties. He told me the other day that he'd been seeing hallucinations, but couldn't give a clear description of what he'd been seeing. Naturally, I didn't take him seriously. I saw no evidence to suggest this was the case, but upped his prescription anyway. He claims the extra medication helps.
Back to the train, sitting here like a fool. It feels like it was just a few seconds ago I was traveling here. No, think straight. I got hit by a car, woke up, and these things have been trying to kill me since. I mean, what is actually happening with me? Mom keeps telling me to get home, but why? How would that solve any of the crazy shit I've seen? I can't even contact the police here. Everything is just... fucked. Could it be that I'm just... hallucinating? No, s seriously. Am I? Or is there something else? <sighs> I keep thinking back at that doctor guy. Well, he is crazy, all right. Something to me, seeing as he wears a gas mask. Or is all this just not real? I'm confused. I'm just very confused. So many questions, but no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home.
go crazy. Don't go there. I'm close enough. Don't go there. I can't. There's a big fucking gate in the way. That's why I want you to come quick. I'll ask you. How? I need a gun. You've got a gun! The subway. The guy you shot. Remember? I want a new gun. Look, just open the gates, will you? I'm tired of all this. No. If you need a gun, you need to get it from now. I know. I have it already. Sure. Give it to me right now. It's mine. Then I'll give you the key. Here. There's no ammo in it, no. Simon, the pills by itself won't make you feel better. You have to do something more than that. I recommend that you try a new modern treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past. All the bad memories and anxiety you have. Are you interested in books, Simon? 
Why? All right. I just wanted to find out because I want you to try out something. I want you to write a book, a book about how you feel. Do you think you can do that? I guess so. I can try.
home. I hope mom's okay. I stopped myself from doing it, from committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive, it also left two police officers dead. I killed them, shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis, which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital, where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book, and uh, it has helped me a lot. I wrote a happy ending, just for myself. I feel better now, I am more at peace with myself, even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair, but uh, I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers though, but I have so many supportive people around me now, so I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. When the doctors let her, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, do, she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend, one who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. 
though I'll miss the good moments we've had, knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end.